Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read a book to you called Do Unto Otters. This book was recommended to me by my dear friend Tammy, who's a teacher. And when I decided to first start doing story time, I asked her if she had any ideas for me. And she recommended this book and said it was one of her favorites for her first grade classroom. Sometimes I like to read a little bit on the back of the book to tell you what it's about. This says, Mr. Rabbit's new neighbors are otters. Otters? But he doesn't know anything about otters. Will they get along? Will they be friends? Just treat otters the same way you'd like them to treat you, advised Mr. Owl. In her smart, playful style, Lori Keller highlights how to be a good friend and neighbor. Just simply follow the golden rule. So this is Do One to Otters. Oh, there's Mr. Rabbit hopping around the forest. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Well, hello, Mr. Rabbit. Who are your new neighbors? The otters. Mr. Rabbit looks surprised, doesn't he? Otters? Otters? My new neighbors are otters? I don't know anything about otters. What if we don't get along? The otters seem to be thinking the same thing. Lousy rabbit, they're thinking, and he's saying, pesky otters. Mr. Rabbit, I know an old saying, says the owl. Do unto otters as you would have otters do unto you. What does that mean? It simply means treat otters the same way you'd like otters to treat you. Treat otters the same way I'd like otters to treat me? Hmm. How would I like otters to treat me? How would I like otters to treat me? Hmm. Well, I'd like otters to be friendly, a cheerful hello, howdy neighbor, a nice smile, good eye contact are all part of being friendly. Friendliness is very important to me, especially after my last neighbor, Mrs. Grr. She was the voted the meanest neighbor six years in a row. <laughs> I'd like otters to be polite. They should know how to say please. Please look. You who, Mr. Rab Rabbit, would you please return the ball, pretty please, with carrots on top? Would you like me to stop stinging you? Yes, please. I can say please in five languages. I'm not sure I can. I'll try. Por favor is Spanish. Divo play is French. Bitte is German. Someone can correct me on that if I'm wrong. Kudasa, kudase maybe is Japanese. And easy play is Pig Latin. Say the magic word and I'll turn these clams into a million dollars. The magic word rhymes with cheese. They should know when to say thank you. Thanks for looking. Dear Mr. Rabbit, thank you very much for returning my ball. You must have returned lots of balls before because you made it look so easy. Balls sure are bouncy and rolly, but I'll try to keep it under control next time. Sincerely, that was the otter writing. Would you like me to sting you now? No, thank you, says the otter. Then please take my business card and call me when you're ready. I can say thank you in five languages. Gracias is Spanish. Merci is French. Dankeschön, German. Arigato is Japanese. Ankhthe, ouye is Pig Latin. <laughs> Did you say please or cheese? And they should know when to say excuse me. 
excuse me. Here's the bee talking. Oh, Ms. Otter, excuse me, Mr. B. I need to run and check on something. I can say excuse me in five languages. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I can't, but I'm going to work on this. Dispensame, Spanish. Pardon-moi is French. German. I need help there, friends. If anybody knows it in German, you can say it right out loud. So, I'm not so sure about Japanese either. Excuse away, Ime, is Pig Latin. Excuse me for interrupting your reading, but I heard you say please, not cheese. <laughs> Otters should be honest. That means they should keep their promises. My word is as good as gold, fish. <laughs> Not lie. I never lie. It makes my whiskers itch. Not cheat. Cheating makes my whiskers itch too. I wonder if I should see a doctor. I would like otters to be considerate. You know, being a good listener, Asking before borrowing something, not littering, being patient, caring for all creatures, big and small, opening the door for someone, being on time, respecting the elderly, and helping a neighbor untangle their ears. That happens to rabbits because they have long ears. It's always good to have a considerate neighbor. It wouldn't hurt otters to be kind. Everyone appreciates a kind act, no matter how bad it smells. The otter's giving the rabbit some fish and it looks like they're stinky. Oh, and what's the word? Cooperate. Otters should learn to cooperate. Did someone say operate? No. Cooperate. That means to work well together. We know how to cooperate, said the otters. <laughs> I see otters like to play. I hope they know how to play fair. Otters' rules for fair play be a good sport, play by the rules, take turns, include everyone even bees. <laughs> it does look like they're having fun, doesn't it? I'd like it if we could share things. Our favorite books. Oh, that looks nice. The otter has a book called Harry Otter. And Mr. Rabbit has a book called Goldilocks and Three Hairs. Our favorite activities. Our favorite treats. Well, maybe they don't like all the same treats, but it's nice they offered to share. I hope otters won't tease me about my doo doo doo, -doo song, my extra large swim fins, or my bad hair days. I, I hope the otters won't tease me about anything. Teasing is mean, said the otters. It's the worst. It's worse than having a clam snap shut on your nose. I think the otters should apologize when they do something wrong. I'm sorry I used your ear as a tissue, said the otter. <laughs> and I hope they can be forgiving when I do something wrong. I'm sorry I called you a snotter. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> So there, that's how I'd like otters to treat me. Well, you see, Mr. Rabbit, said the owl, I told you it was simple. Right, just doo de doo unto otters as you would have otters doo de doo unto you. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed that story.
I thought it was a wonderful way to teach us about the golden rule, which you've probably heard, but it goes something like, do unto others as you'd have others do unto you. In this book, we say, do unto otters. Have a nice rest of your day, and I'll be back to read to you soon. Bye, everyone.